top 5 movies that were only successful in Brazil. Don't ask me why, but the last one is the one that Brazilians like the most. The Gods Must Be Crazy, 1980. The Gods Must Be Crazy is a 1980s South African comedy film that has gained a cult following around the world, including in Brazil. The film tells the story of a tribe of sand people living in the Kalahari Desert who are living peacefully until a pilot flying overhead throws a Coca-Cola bottle out of the plane. This bottle, seen as a gift from the gods, creates conflict and chaos among the tribe members as they fight over who should keep it. The film's humor lies in its innocent portrayal of the tribe members' confusion and fascination with the foreign object, as well as the comedic situations that arise from their attempts to understand it. In addition, the film also explores the theme of cultural clash between traditional and modern values. One of the most memorable characters in the film is she, played by Anne Za, a member of the Sand Tribe who sets out on a journey to return the bottle to the gods, believing that it is the cause of all the trouble. Along the way, he encounters a variety of eccentric characters and experiences a series of misadventures. The Gods Must Be Crazy is known for its charming and light-hearted humor, as well as its message about the dangers of materialism and the importance of community. The film's success in Brazil and other parts of the world can be attributed to its universal themes and relatable characters, as well as its unique and entertaining take on the clash of cultures. Me, Myself and Irene, 2000 Me, Myself and Irene is a 2000 American comedy film that became a huge box office success in Brazil, and it's not hard to see why. The film stars Jim Carrey in the lead role, known for his energetic and over-the-top performances, which are always popular with Brazilian audiences. The film's plot is also a perfect fit for Brazilian audiences, with its focus on humor and irreverence. Me, Myself and Irene tells the story of a Rhode Island state trooper named Charlie Bailey Gates, who has a split personality disorder. Charlie's alter ego is Hank, a wild and aggressive personality who takes over whenever Charlie is under stress. The film's humor is centered around Jim Carrey's hilarious performances as both Charlie and Hank, as well as the absurd situations that they find themselves in. From car chases to romantic comedy-style misunderstandings, the film is a non-stop barrage of laughs that keeps audiences entertained from start to finish. But the film's appeal in Brazil goes beyond just its humor and Jim Carrey's performance. The film's theme of overcoming personal struggles and self-acceptance is something that resonates with many Brazilians. The country is known for its vibrant culture and passionate people, but also for the social and economic struggles that many face on a daily basis. Me, Myself and Irene offers a message of hope and perseverance that is relatable to many Brazilians. In addition, the film's setting in Rhode Island, a relatively unknown and obscure part of the United States, adds to its exotic appeal for Brazilian audiences. Many Brazilians have a fascination with American culture and lifestyles, and me, myself and Irene offers a glimpse into a lesser-known part of the country. Overall, me, myself and Irene's success in Brazil can be attributed to a combination of its hilarious humor, relatable themes, and exotic appeal. It's no wonder that the film continues to be a beloved classic in Brazil and a go-to choice for a good laugh. The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift, 2006 The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift is a 2006 American action film that has gained a significant following in Brazil. The film is the third installment in the Fast and the Furious franchise and is set in Tokyo, Japan, which adds to its exotic appeal for Brazilian audiences. One of the reasons why Brazilian audiences enjoy the Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift is because of the thrilling action scenes and intense car races that are featured throughout the film. The high-speed chases and adrenaline-pumping drift races are a perfect fit for Brazil's car-loving culture, where car racing is a popular pastime. Another factor that makes the film popular in Brazil is its portrayal of Japanese culture. Many Brazilians have an interest in Japanese culture, and the film offers a glimpse into the country's unique customs, traditions, and style. The film's setting in Tokyo, with its neon-lit streets, bustling nightlife, and stunning landscapes, 
adds to its appeal for Brazilian audiences. Additionally, the film's themes of loyalty, friendship, and redemption are also relatable to Brazilian audiences. These themes are universal and transcend cultural boundaries, making the film appealing to audiences worldwide. Finally, the film's cast, which includes Lucas Black, Sun Kong, and Bao Wow, also resonates with Brazilian audiences. The diverse cast represents a range of cultures and ethnicities, and their performances are praised for being both entertaining and authentic. Overall, the Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift's success in Brazil can be attributed to a combination of its thrilling action scenes, exotic setting, portrayal of Japanese culture, relatable themes, and diverse cast. It's no wonder that the film continues to be a beloved favorite among Brazilian audiences. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, 2000 How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a 2000 American Christmas comedy film that has become a beloved classic among Brazilian audiences. The film is based on the classic Dr. Seuss book and tells the story of the Grinch, a grumpy and mischievous creature who hates Christmas. One of the main reasons why Brazilian audiences enjoy How the Grinch Stole Christmas is because of its heartwarming message. The film's themes of love, forgiveness, and the power of friendship are universal and resonate with audiences of all ages. In Brazil, where family and community are highly valued, the film's message of coming together and celebrating the holiday season is particularly appealing. Another factor that makes the film popular in Brazil is its humor. The film is known for its witty one-liners, slapstick comedy, and hilarious performances by the cast, including Jim Carrey as the Grinch. Brazilian audiences appreciate the film's light-hearted humor and its ability to make them laugh during the festive season. The film's production design and special effects also add to its appeal for Brazilian audiences. The whimsical and colorful sets, costumes, and makeup are a feast for the eyes, and the film's imaginative and fantastical world transports audiences to a magical place. This sense of escapism is particularly appealing for Brazilian audiences who appreciate visual art and creativity. Finally, the film's music also plays a significant role in its popularity among Brazilian audiences. The film's iconic soundtrack features classic Christmas songs and original compositions that evoke a sense of nostalgia and warmth. The film's catchy songs, including Where You Christmas and You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, have become holiday favorites in Brazil. Overall, How the Grinch Stole Christmas's success in Brazil can be attributed to a combination of its heartwarming message, humor, production design, music, and festive appeal. It's no wonder that the film continues to be a beloved holiday classic among Brazilian audiences. The last one is So Beloved by Brazilians, White Chicks, 2004. White Chicks, 2004, is a beloved comedy film among Brazilian audiences, and one of the most popular characters in the movie is Latrell Spencer, portrayed by Marlon Wayans. Latrell is a wealthy and flamboyant socialite who becomes enamored with one of the undercover FBI agents, who are disguised as white socialite sisters. He is known for his outrageous fashion sense, over-the-top behavior, and memorable one-liners. One reason why Latrell and the film are popular in Brazil is due to their humor. Brazilian audiences appreciate the film's absurd and exaggerated humor, and Latrell's outrageous behavior and flamboyant personality fit right in. His over-the-top antics, including his dance moves and attempts to woo one of the undercover agents, are both hilarious and entertaining. Furthermore, Latrell's character is also popular in Brazil because of his iconic catchphrases, including Once you go black, you never go back and I'm gonna take you to the dirty south. These catchphrases have become part of the cultural lexicon in Brazil, and are often quoted and referenced by fans of the movie. Finally, Latrell's character also resonates with Brazilian audiences because of his portrayal of American culture. Brazilian audiences are fascinated by American culture and the film's depiction of the extravagant, wealthy, and often ridiculous lifestyles of the white socialites is both intriguing and humorous. Latrell's character, in particular, represents a caricature of American excess and vanity, which is both entertaining and relatable to Brazilian viewers. 
In conclusion, Latrell Spencer's character and White Chick's popularity in Brazil can be attributed to their humor, iconic catchphrases, and portrayal of American culture. The film's ability to make audiences laugh and its relatable commentary on society has made it a beloved favorite among Brazilian fans, and Latrell's over-the-top personality and outrageous behavior have become iconic symbols of the movie.